Hey guys, welcome back to the Bureau. We're back in the observation room. I said base last time, I didn't mean it. And we just, you know, got through the second trial. So let's speak to Dr. Dresner. Hey, buddy. Doc, what was Donnie talking about? He said he wasn't alone in there. Subject 23 was referring to the controlling intelligence. Our next test will attempt to identify that intelligence. There's gotta be more we can do for him. Agent Asuva. Kindly maintain a proper clinical detachment from the subject. Agent Donovan will only be saved by proper thought and action, not sentimentality and emotion. Okay. Also, we're ranked up. Autumn. Yes. Try to focus on your days at school. And the okay. You. The next one's set in a campus, like a school campus, college campus, whatever. That's pretty neat. I guess now we're going farther back into his head. Brainwaves have been isolated. Neat. Okay, and there is a trial plan here for the next mission. With the subject's mind safely contained and isolated, Agent De Silva can attempt to make direct contact with the external intelligence behind the psychoplasmosis. Diplomatic contact and negotiation may be successful. However, I suspect that we are dealing with that as we are dealing with an unknown form of intelligence, we must prepare for the worst. And here's a little slide image of the campus. Our casualty list, casualty list is still at zero. And there's another backpack schematic. What is this one? The blast protection pack reduces damage from explosives and grenades. Neat. Any other little papers? Yeah, there's one over here. Cool. Dossier, Agent Donovan. Name, Lieutenant Francis Edgar Donovan. Born February 2nd, 1914 in Boston, Massachusetts to Neal and Isidore Donovan. Education, has a Bachelor's of Science in History, West Point, 1939. Marital status, single, never married. Ah, oh, family. Isidore Donovan, his mother, died the year he was born. His father died when he was, like, 15. <laughs> All of his older brothers died some before one of them before he was born two a couple years after sister died what after he got his bachelor's and his brother-in-law died the same year weird professional record the youngest son in a long line of proud soldiers oh francis donnie donovan comes from a family with a long tradition of honor and duty despite losing two brothers in world war one he signed up for the army at an early age and served with distinction in world war two in 1945, he returned from the Pacific Front to do to a home with no family. Oh, After years of correspondence with an old colleague, Director Falk offered him a position in the Bureau as a senior agent where he has proven himself an able and valued agent. Until he got hit by the Sleepwalker virus and is kind of in a vegetative state. But we're not going to, you know, complain too much about that. Alright, so we have access to new stuff. Also, we ranked up. So now we have access to the Blast Protection Pack, but I like the Endurance Pack, personally. Because of the ones, I mean, everything else seems a bit more suited toward, uh, you know, the other characters, I guess. I don't know. The Reaper Pack actually might be good for me, but I don't like that kind of perk ever. As far as the rank up, we have the Motivation Ability, which increases our Ability Recharge. Cool. And then Robot A14 also ranked up. Um... One option, crack shot recharges critical strike ability faster, or we do 45% more damage to armor and shields. I like the idea of doing more damage. Yeah. Armor piercer, we're going to go with. And as for equipment, I'm probably going to keep you with the reaper pack. Because you're not going to be in the front line. Then we've got Osiris. You ranked up as well. You can have either a rocket or a laser turret. I'm going to go with lasers because you're a spaceship captain and lasers are awesome. So, yeah. Laser turret. The engineer provides frontline support by deploying a sturdy automated machine gun to target short and medium range enemies. Haha, <laughs> short enemies. I mean, short range enemies. <laughs> also, we've got um, Liberty Prime who can now use the AK 47. Which seems to have a higher firing rate than the M14. I'm going to use it. Also, as far as what our squad's going to be for this one, we're going to... 
Let's go with Liberty Prime because we got the AK, and I want to have one of these too, so probably Osiris. And as for you, Mr. Nico da Silva, I'm going to not give you the same weapons they have. In fact, I might have you play as a sniper with a hmm, machine pistol for close range enemies. Frag grenade's still good, and then these two have the Reaper and the Endurance Pack. I kind of want to have someone have the Blast Protection. Actually, you'd be good for that because you're going to be way up in the front line. And you would be yeah, better with the Reaper. So I think that should be good. Right? As far as like a squad? Um, hmm. Probably. These little prep time things are always kind of short. Hopefully what I can do here actually is start the next trial. Or at least go into it. So let's do that, yeah. Destroy drop pods to avoid battling multiple waves of deployed enemies. That's what I did. It was awesome. Support agents use pistols and machine pistols. They are most effective at close range. Except, you know, you want them to live. <laughs> Commandos use machine guns and assault weaponry, best deployed at mid to close range. Alright, we have a new hangar. Test. We shall attempt to make contact with the intelligence behind the infection. Cool. You said it controls the subject. What does it make them do? The cases we've seen range from starvation or self-harm to acts of sabotage or violence. Patterns are visible, but we are still searching for an underlying motive. Uh, maybe we can have a chat when it's not trying to kill us. Aha! Good luck. Alright. Oh, hey, there's a resupply station. Let's just activate it, because it does, you know, quick save. <laughs> Alright, are we going to have to find people again? Oh, jeez. Sounds like we found it. Enemies engaged! They're holding that area! That was awesome. Shot him in the face. That's how we start combat. Get behind that! Going now! Oh, boop, boop. I don't want you to set a mine. I want you to move forward a little bit. A little closer than what I put. Commando, way. Prime, whatever. Because there is an enemy here I want to kill. Yeah, Scion Commander. Yeah, we definitely Take want to get him out. out of the way. Attack! It's mine! Oh, you have the plasma field as well. Awesome, we could set that right there as well. Bam. Plasma field now. Let's taunt him too to make sure he doesn't like try to run off. Take it down. Firing on your target. Oh, there are sectoids. Well yeah, that's the point, isn't it? Ah, ah. I just realized that I forgot I had to do things. Uh, let's set the laser turret now. I don't think that counts against the uh one charge. Boom, headshot. Charges aren't going to be close. Alright, next we just got outsiders and sectoids. Okay. Go for the elite. Let's try scattering these guys because it's like push them into the range of the turret. I shot him in the dick. <laughs> He's punching the thing. Alright, we got one Focus sector, on that and that's one. it. I have faith in us. Cover. Oh, shit. That's a sectopod. With some drones, we're gonna... Attack. Target the advanced drone. Oops, I missed. Whoa, now. Then move. But also set a mine because you know why. Move you over here. Take cover there. I want you to target the sectopod. Do you have any range on the plasma field? Or good enough range? Doesn't seem like it. Target the drones. Attack! Why am I the one with the lowest health? Oh, 
Okay. Actually, no. Target the one that's healing right now. I also kind of want you to move a little closer, which is going to sound crazy. But I kind of want you to be in a position where we can, like, triangulate on the sectopod because that's what it's, it's got, like, a weak backside. Dick. Alright. Are you attacking the sectopod? Yes, you are. Maybe I'll move you a little closer so we can set up the plasma field on its feet. Cover, there. Oops. Phantoms! Jeez, okay. Here, set a mine at its feet. Again. Move, please. In fact, take a step to the right so you're in full cover. Good. Uh, you have the turret available again, so let's set that up as well. I can't set it on top of that? Aw, oh, lame. Set up a gun. I could also move forward a little bit personally. Whoa, now where are you at? Not a great spot. Oh well. These are armored. Let's see if we set that here. Yeah, plasma you'll be in field. there. Setting up plasma field. Medic. Oh, dang it. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, get up. You're not the one who's dying, Fog. Actually, you are. <laughs> You're the only one who's dying right now. Lay down a mine. Mine Am I close deployed. enough to set this? I am totally close enough to set this. Explosives out. Charges set. Detonating. Bombs away. Your legs are hurting. That's good. This is a bad place, boss. You're not wrong. Healing engaged. Back up a little bit. Get behind cover. On my way. Who are you targeting? Target him. Yeah. Okay. Sectopod's down. Move forward a little bit. I mean, by, by a little bit, I mean like a lot. Take cover there. Let's have you kind of get up here. Repositioning. Good job. I don't have my healing ability yet. You have your mine. That'll work. Like, how far is the scatter's range? Because if we can, like, yeah, we can totally do this. Drop a scatter there. Clear in the area. Set that here. Put a Set mine this there. there. What's your range on the plasma field? Can we possibly? Yes, we can. Set it right on top of this guy. Ah, just gotta navigate. There we Plasma go. Plasma field now. Plasma Mine field in forward. progress. Take it out. I can't heal you yet. Is that guy dead? He, yeah, that guy's dead. He just straight up died. All right, let's Draw taunt this one. Come on, you dumb bastard! Hehe. <laughs> <laughs> that worked. Grenade. Oh, he died right when I did that. Rude. Focus on that target. <laughs> Good job, just stopping there. Why do you resist? This one is happening. You can't show him. No thanks. I'm doing fine. You need not be afraid. With us, there will be no pain, no uncertainty, no worry. Ah, drop pod. We're gonna have to face this one next time. Pausing the game right now because yeah. So next time on the bureau, we're gonna take on that drop pod. Till then, guys. Well, I'll see you then, guys. Take care. <laughs>